So how do you get your camera from looking like this to looking like this? It actually only takes two steps. Let me show you. So for me personally, it's a lot easier to just go off of muscle memory and do this through OBS, but you could do this from Logitech software, or if you don't have a Logitech webcam, another software too, if it has a similar issue. So what you really wanna do is open up the source for the webcam itself. Once you're here, go to the configure video side. This will then bring up a properties page that I can drag over to here on the center of the screen. And there's really just two things that you want to mess with. Sharpness, I personally bring this up to around 150. So let's just do this 150. All right. Then go over to camera control and uncheck low light compensation. For whatever reason, that is always the default. Then hit apply. Okay. And look at that, we are so much better right now. Oof, let's, uh, let's go back over to here. We are so much better now with just those two things done. Now, if you can see, I'm a lot more clear. I'm not as fuzzy, my movements look a little more fluid. This is the perfect way to take a rather budget-friendly camera like the Logitech C920 and make it a really, really worthwhile investment if you're trying to just have a decent quality for streaming, uh, broadcasting, YouTube videos, content creation. Webcams are very useful, so make sure that you're taking the very little steps needed to really maximize the quality that you can get out of them. I know low light compensation is a default setting for a lot of webcams. So the main thing to do, that's the biggest part of this. I could turn the I could turn the sharpness down and it would still look good. I just prefer it to be a little sharper than the default image. Default has it at 128. I keep it around 150. It's it's really just a 22 uptick when so it's not too crazy, but the the low light compensation is the main factor here to make the the video a lot smoother now there is a key element behind the scenes for that for having like good key lighting uh, for example i have an led floodlight that bounces off the wall and comes back at me and i have another uh, lamp that goes up and just helps backfill the room as a in addition to just the the blue light in the background but even if you took out the blue light in the background it's still it's still a very clean image here. As long as you have proper key lighting and these settings enabled, you're going to be really good as far as whatever content creation or work related video quality you need. Now, if you need something that's higher than this, honestly, going for an actual camera and not a webcam is going to be better than investing in the 200 plus dollar webcams, in my personal opinion, because what you're seeing right now is more than enough for 99% of use cases. And then that 1%, really you just want a webcam, or you don't want a webcam, you want a regular camera at that point. Long spiel aside, I wanted to make this quick video to showcase how to better improve the quality of your webcams, especially the Logitech ones, because it is so easy to do, but the default settings do inhibit you in the quality that you can present. And for those that think it might just be a plug and play, you're seriously missing out. Personally, I always adjust things from OBS just because I use it a lot for both work and streaming and just general content creation. So it's second nature to me to just pop open OBS and quickly go into my camera settings if the uh, if it ends up resetting when I reset my computer every now and then. So you can do that through here like I am now. It's personally what I do. It takes two seconds as opposed to opening up Logitech software, which to me personally, it's it takes more time but with that said, I'm Al. I hope you learned something today and have a great rest of your day, night, evening, whatever your time zone says it is.